What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review today. Today we're going to take a look at the Sagreen Gear RDA. Now this is a 25mm RDA so it's a big mug. Now this thing retails for about $39, 40 bucks, basically. Now I did pick this up over at Vapor DNA. Uh, it comes in stainless steel currently but I believe it's coming out with black, a black version. Um, now what's really really cool about this RDA is that it is bottom airflow but it's redirected from the sides so it's pretty interesting you 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 vape and the airflow goes in from the sides gets redirected goes down into a chamber and goes up into the airflow which hits your coils underneath which gives you the underneath flavor without the leaking so that is pretty interesting that's a pretty cool concept but it is not without its flaws. But before I get into the nitty and the gritty of this RDA, I wanted to take this time to remind you guys that the FDA wants to ban 99% of the vapor products currently on the market. Please follow notblowingsmort.org, Safada, join Casa, and follow the calls to action. Otherwise, anything that I'm reviewing or I'm talking about won't matter anyway so please contact your representatives your legislators tell them you know a support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop amendment please do your part support your right to vape so we can continue to do what we love and something that saved our lives so let's get down to the nitty and the gritty of this Sagreen gear RDA and we'll come back to FaceTime I'll tell you guys my pros and my cons with this RDA Gear RDA by Sagreen comes in. Pretty standard little packaging. Nothing too fancy. Got a nice little flap here. Open her up. Here's your Gear RDA along with a bag of goodies. You get some extra you get some pre-built coils, some extra O-rings, some extra screws and the infamous blue screwdriver. You also get a 510 adapter which is pretty nice. I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a minute. So here we are with the Gear RDA by Sigreen. Now there is 10 2 millimeter airflow holes. So there's 10 of these and they're all 2 millimeters in diameter on both sides. As you guys can see it's pretty geary looking. Bottom is a little bit sharper than the top. But mine does say sample. I don't know. I guess I, guess I got a sample one. I don't know anyways it has a copper contact nice little friction fit wide board so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with the 510 adapter it does stick up a little bit gives it a little bit of a ledge but it's there now let me go ahead and show you guys how this airflow works as you guys can see velocity style build deck eight millimeter ma er, massive juice well eight millimeters in diameter or deep sorry nice little airflow slots I believe they are seven millimeters by three millimeters now how the airflow slot how the airflow works is you slide it over top see these little interlocking little channels here hold it together that way of course you know you're gonna have your barrel over top so it's not gonna wiggle like that but as you guys can see it's got this indentation airflow goes in from the side here goes down into the bottom up there and through your drip tip so it's pretty interesting how that works I, I do like that whole concept of it now let me go ahead and show it with the barrel on top so been, would have been nice for them to instead of doing this jagged bottom kind of like extending it out making it just plain and dual o-ringing it on the bottom because it does get a little bit of juice condensation in between the the barrel and the deck so it does build up right around here but I can overlook that so pretty much you adjust your airflow accordingly you just adjust it like this however you want it to show as you guys can see I don't know if you guys can really see it a 
well. But anyways, as you guys can see, it does rotate. You can put your airflow on like this. Adjust it how you want. I, I usually just adjust it like this, however I want to see it. Do I want this many holes and then I kind of snap it in there. Pretty easy. Just locks into place. And that is how that works out for you guys. So, do like that it has a little locking thing here. That way you can't really like have airflow like that. <laughs> so, that's pretty interesting how they did that. Woo! Go ahead, slide this barrel on top. And bam! There's your RDA. Now there is no single coil option which is really kind of kind of what you come to expect with bottom airflow. They really don't have that many single coil options or if they do have any single coil options for a bottom airflow RDA. But this one is for you dual coilers. It does have a 510 adapter along with a 12 millimeter Delrin chuff wide bore. So without further ado guys i think we'll go back to facetime i'll tell you guys my pros and my cons with this rda so let's go ahead and get to it all right guys that was the nitty and the gritty of the gear rda by sigreen now my pros with this device is it's 40 dollars bait budget friendly really really good uh i love the airflow innovation i want to say I like that it comes from the side, gets redirected down to the bottom and hits underneath your coils. Gives off good flavor, great vapor production. Now, I love that it comes with the 510 adapter. That is a plus to me because a lot I, I'm really picky. I like my stuff to matchy matchy, so I really want my drip tips to match my mod. I don't know, I'm really weird like that. But anyways guys, it also comes with the chuff. I think that's really awesome. Now, my con with this device. As you guys seen in the close-ups, it has jagged edges on the bottom. Kind of, I guess, insinuate that it's more of a gear. Now, the bottom of it does scratch up your mods a little bit. That is really sharp. It's really jagged. So, it's going to tear up your bottom, your mod over there where the 510 is. Seeing that it's 25 millimeters, it might just, it might not, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's a con just because I don't like something scratching. So, I did put it on my dual SX by signature mods and the reason I did that was because it didn't have that many much overhang on this mod and it's just it's more durable it does not scratch easily so that is why I have it on there and that is my only concern with this RDA is just I wish they would have done something different with the bottom of it that way it wouldn't scratch your devices but other than that guys I will leave a link in the description as I always do to where you can go get one now Please join Kasa, support HR2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. Please do your part. Fight for your right to vape, guys. Let's do this as a community. Let's continue to vape and continue to save lives on our way to doing it. Now, I'll see you guys next time.